Anaphylaxis is defined as a serious allergic reaction that is rapid in onset and may be life-threatening. Almost any foreign substance can cause it, but it's often a reaction to insect bites, food, or medications. It also typically activates a severe reaction in more than one organ system. The most commonly affected areas are the skin, respiratory organs, gastrointestinal organs, heart and vascular structures, and even the central nervous system. This creates many visible signs like an itchy rash, eye, lip, and throat swelling, difficulty breathing and wheezing, vomiting, and abdominal cramping. It can be quite scary to witness or experience as it happens very, very quickly. Within a few seconds to a few minutes, that's the time span. Patients have what they, they call the fear of impending doom. They feel like they're basically not going to survive whatever incident they just had, and they need immediate me medical attention. Immediate use of antihistamines at the site and an adrenaline pen or an epinephrine pen to try and counteract the reaction and then hopefully get them to an emergency room. If you've had a reaction once in the past, then you might have an epinephrine pen with you. Of course, if it's the first time you've had it, you might not have access to that, and the key is getting you medical therapy as quickly as possible. Worldwide, almost 2% of people are estimated to have anaphylaxis at some point in their life, so you may one day witness it yourself. There are a few things you can do to help someone having a full-blown allergic reaction. The first thing to do is call 911. Certainly, anything to increase blood flow to the heart and to the head, so having patients lie flat, raising their feet so that way more blood flows towards the top of their body, and if they have antihistamines with them, to give it to them, and if they have an epinephrine pen, to actually give it to them again. Certainly, at the scene, somebody could ask them if they've ever had a reaction like this before and uh, what happened and what did they react to? Do they have any known allergies? Because it may be helpful in diagnosing the problem. If you've had a previous reaction, your doctor has probably prescribed an adrenaline pen that must be carried with you at all times. There are two brands, EpiPen and Twinjet. If you ever have to carry one, you should know that they do expire and need to be renewed. So annual checkups with your doctor are necessary to discuss any changes in your allergic status and get a new adrenaline pen. An EpiPen is a pre-dose vial of epinephrine, which is used as an emergency rescue device when you're having an allergic reaction. If somebody has an allergic reaction to a food or severe reaction to medication or an insect sting and an antihistamine such as Benadryl at the site doesn't help, the next step would be use epinephrine to give you an opportunity to be well enough to get to the hospital. You usually have a half hour window after using epinephrine to be able to make it to the hospital to get further treatment. And the way that it would work is the cap gets pulled out of the back of the epinephrine, and then you would find a flat piece of flesh, it even goes through skin, and you would count to 10, so it would actually stick it in your leg, and you'd hear a pop as you hear it right now, and you would count to 10. Most patients, when they're angry and upset, would count to 10 very quickly, so I always tell them to inject their name when they're actually injecting themselves. So I would say one David Wertheim, two David Wertheim, till you get to 10. You would pull out the adrenaline and then immediately seek medical attention to go to the emergency room. Once at the hospital, the patient will receive fluid and medications such as another dose of epinephrine, antihistamines, or steroids. If the reaction is quickly controlled at the site and emergency assistance arrives immediately, then the patient can often be discharged a few hours later. A little shaken up, perhaps, but no worse for the wear. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen, and you're watching the eHealth Network. Stay healthy.